You got me covered there. Lights are on, so it should be fine. Visibility this morning, 6 a.m., absolutely terrible. So we're turning on the highway signs there. Let's just go over here, open up the control panel. We'll be turning on all these signboards because we've got work uh, stationed about uh, 400 meters up the road there. All right, road work is ahead there. Let's just go and display that. Uh, there we go. Slow down, road work ahead. Perfect, that should be enabled. Just going to go and check that and lock the box there. Okay, so essentially we want to be slowing everyone down to roughly about 40 miles an hour before approaching the scene. Right, people are... There you go, people are starting to slow down. All right, perfect. Uh, you want to hop in and head over there. Getting pretty chilly up here and uh, done all the work that we need to do, so... All right, let's head back here. Should be clear. Let's just go around here real quick. Okay, hop in. All right, let's just... There we go. It's safe to pull out, so let's just go and pull out here. And head back over to the work site just up here. Visibility, it's not horrible, but it is very limited to say the least. So we're just going to pull in up here. We've got two signboards uh, currently enabled, which will be just warning people to slow down as uh, we're doing a bit of construction work on the road up here, basically digging it up and replacing it because uh, there's some problems with some of the plumbing underneath the road, which I'm not sure whose idea it was um, to put the plumbing underneath the highway because it's a terrible place. They could have done it uh, through the town or anything, which would have been smaller roads, causing less uh, diversions and, you know, be much easier to fix. But for whatever reason, when this highway was built, I'd say over 100 years ago, that's how they did it. And we just have to, well, we just have to fix this. We've got a small issue, nothing too bad. We've managed to fix this, so essentially it's just relaying the tarmac and getting the highway back up and running. But for the moment, it seems to be fine. People are filing in, so there we go. All right, perfect. We'll get out some of my tools, help, and hopefully we can be walking away from this in two to three hours and all will be done. And uh, I'll be able to get some nice rest because we've been up since, I think it's 11 now. Yeah, we've been up since 11, 11 p.m. that is, so quite a long night shift here, quite a long night shift. While they're working on this, I may as well also uh, redo the bolts and the sign here because I can see they're getting very rusty. Uh, so good opportunity for us to just pull this out and uh, reattach the sign. We don't want it falling down in a blizzard or storm or anything like that, so it's just going to take this out there. Perfect, perfect. We're going to place the sign on the ground and get uh, some replacement bolts from my vehicle there. Whoa, that police cruiser pulled by fast, faster than I expected. I don't know if they had their lights on, but if so, I guess that made sense. They really do come flying out of nowhere, especially in these dark conditions. Okay, just uh, go and hold that. Hey, uh, sorry, can I get someone to help me over here real quick? Thanks. Can you just hold the sign up there while I um, drill this back in there from the back? Pretty straightforward there. Top left and top right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry about that. Okay, that should all be done there. Yeah, nothing. Okay, no problems about that now. Okay, let's go and see if we can help in the relaying of this. Whoa! That explorer went by very fast. Okay, let's bring the vehicle back over here. Uh, we'll go and get some of these barriers removed just so it's easier to lay down the concrete. Otherwise, we're going to have to, uh, you know, be pouring around this and that's going to be a bit of a pain. So we'll just go and pick this up and remove these. All right, perfect. We're going to just carry these and put these back in the back of the cone truck there for storage for later use. There we go. Okay, uh, so we're ready to lay down the new concrete or the new tarmac. We've got to do concrete and then the tarmac. Uh, at least that's uh, how this part of the highway is built. So we'll just keep to the same tradition, I guess you could call it, as they do. I feel like they're mixing it up in the cement mixer there. All right, lovely. That should be done five minutes, I'd say, maximum. I'm just going to get myself a bit of a warm drink. I've got a, a thermos in here. Let's just go and take, take that out. There we go. Really nice on this cold winter morning there. Not too much snow, though, though which is really good. I've had some jobs before where it's just been snowing like crazy. Almost a blizzard. And it's just a pain to work in. It does look lovely, but it's just so cold. It's it's really painful. You can't feel your fingers and not a nice condition to work in for hours on end at uh, 5 a.m. All right, pulling the vehicles around there. Okay, let's just go and help out when we can. We'll go and grab myself a bucket over here there. And uh, we'll go and help shoveling this in here. We're doing the old-fashioned way there. Pull that up and drag this in here. Okay, we're moving the truck back there. Perfect, perfect. It's not going to hit me, is it? That's all fine there. Let's just go and fill this up. Honestly, can't really fit too much in a bucket, which is kind of unfortunate here. Uh, but let's just fill this up as we can there. Right, there we... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on here? Hold up, hold up. We've got a pile up on the highway. 
Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, come on. Get everyone back. Get everyone back here. We've got more and more cars coming into this. Let's go. Get everyone back. Move everyone back here. We've got more and more cars coming into this. I don't know. Something's gone on. Car went into the back. Hey, come on. Get them carried over. Get them carried over here. We've got more and more cars involved in this here. Okay, apparently no one's seeing our signs here. Let's go. Get them back. Get them back here. Why is there no one slowing down? Oh, I think there's some ice formed on the highway. We had this the other week. There was ice formed on the highway and we had vehicles losing control. Not this bad, though. Okay, get everyone back. Everyone back here. Get everyone back, please. Everyone back. Uh, medical bag. Medical bag should be in this truck. I'll go get it real quick. I'll go fetch the medical bag there. They got... I don't know how hard they got hit, but looked pretty painful. Uh, okay, we've got the medical bag. Let's just go and bring this over here. Uh, you can take care of them. Whoa, we've got more vehicles. All right, everyone, move back. Move back. Let's go. Let's go. Get move people moving back here. Go and place that down there. What is going on? Okay, we've got sheriffs involved. Hold on. Can we get some vehicles up? Can we get some vehicles up on the highway? We're gonna, we're gonna set up diversions up there. I think there's some black ice forming just uh, before the overpass. Go move the boards back. Go move the boards back quickly, quickly, quickly. We gotta get some of these vehicles moving past here. Uh, okay, we need to get yeah, mess and yeah. Okay, can you move your vehicle? If your vehicle is able to be moved, like you're standing up and walking. So if your vehicle is able to be moved, let's get the vehicles moving along, please. Right, we need to get this all moved. We need to get all this all moved here. Come on. Uh, I think they're, I believe they're setting up uh, signboards further up the highway there because I believe some black ice has been formed and vehicles, as they try to slow down, lose control. We've got about four or five vehicles involved in this collision. Uh, sheriffs were really quick to respond, so I'm grateful for that. But um, we've got vehicles further up which have headed over. Um... Now, I'm not entirely sure what happened. My only guess can be black ice. We do have DOT workers who went up the highway to go and check it out and place signboards up there. So hopefully they can relay some more information soon. Um, we're just going to divert everyone off into Springfield. We don't have anyone coming up this bit of the highway. Is there anything we should know? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, well, we've got an area over here which we're working on, but seeming that no one's crashed into said area that we're working on. Uh, no, it's fine. I'll just go and put some cones around it so no one steps in the fresh cement. So yeah, vehicles on the other side of the highway, they're driving fine. Slowing down because of the incident, of course, but um, there we go. Thanks. Perfect. That's all uh, sorted there. So everyone should realize that's uh, fresh cement and not walk in there. Uh, we do have the highway blocked off now, so there should be no one driving in here. We've got fire and rescue have arrived recently. EMTs on scene now. Uh, you recognize me. Hi. Uh, sorry, I can't really say the same about you. From the water tower. Oh, that was... Feels like months ago. That was probably only last month, was it? Um, yeah, how are you How are you doing now? Yeah, unfortunate accidents are happening. You're doing far better. But that's that's good to hear. Recovery about another month. Okay, okay, that's 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 not too bad. That's not too bad. Well, keep, keep me updated, all right? I'll, I'll see you around. Keep me updated. Um, yeah. I don't think they're involved. I think they passed by and saw this here. Okay, okay, let's just try and keep this cleared. We want to keep the other side of the highway cleared, I believe. There we go, perfect. Sheriffs have blocked this off and diverting everyone off of the highway, so that's good. Let's just have a, let's just check the radio here. Hold up. 878, the board is blacked out completely. Unable to turn it back on system malfunction. Hold up, they're talking about the sign board, aren't they? The one that we turned on about an hour or two ago. So apparently they can't turn that back on and that may be one of the causes for this. That's that's quite strange. Uh, okay, so I'm going to guess there was a power cut, but the lights still work. They're probably running off of a different grid though, so... Okay, I'm going to go and inform an officer. They'll need to write that down in the report regardless, so let's just uh, go and... Hey, uh, deputy. Um, yeah, hi. Just wanted to let you know, I got uh, information from a couple other of our workers. They've just gone down to block off the highway and they said the signboard was turned off. Uh, so the highway signboard down was turned off and they're requesting an assistance. Uh, just thought I'd let you know because you may need to put this in your report. We're having a look into it, but it's most likely just a system malfunction or something like that. Okay, all right, thank you, thank you. But right, people running crazy everywhere. Um, I do believe, from what I've heard anyways, we've only got two or three people critically injured. Everyone else seems to be walking out of this pretty uh, unscathed, so that's good. The sign wasn't turned on. Sorry, which sign are you talking about? The overhead one over the highway? The overhead uh, signboards on the highway. The cars totaled. Right. Okay, sorry. Okay, so apparently it wasn't on. So this is... 
Okay, okay. Th thank you for relaying that to me. Let's get through here. Let's just have a look and assess the damage. This vehicle seems to have only... It's managed to break. It's just got some dents down the side there. Fire department's resolved the issue there. Uh, okay, we've got a technician on the scene, I believe, there. Uh, so we've got three or four vehicles that kind of just couldn't avoid this here. Uh, a couple of vehicles managed to pull off to the side of there and, you know, clear the scene up for EMS and firefighters, but you can see the mess it's caused. So, yeah, we've got multiple reports that the signs weren't turned on, so definitely something we need to look into. But no one saw the signboard trucks we had either. Uh, we've got our technician arrived on the scene there. Okay, I've just checked on the signs. Okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, okay, they found a serial number. Right. Okay, well, they're just going to relay that information to the officer. That's really none of my business, and I don't specialize in that field, so... Um, hold on, did they say possible hacking? They connected to the sign and changed the text. Possible hacking. Hold up. What? Hey there. Uh, we've got some robberies downtown. We've got to send a couple units. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. We've got sufficient uh, infrastructure here. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, apparently we've got this on the radio as well. Apparently there was a device that logged in to the DOT network and changed the signboard remotely. Hacking, they're guessing. That's quite strange. Why would someone do that, though? That's what I don't get. Why would you change us? Why would you hack into a DOT network just to change a signboard and get people to crash? I don't know what, unless they wanted to divert people off the highway for some reason, but I don't really see any connection or any motive behind that. Like, all we're doing really is diverting people off of this section of the highway and back on. Scene's clearing up slightly. We've got some of the uh, deputies and officers heading off to respond and, you know, just go and do their duties, patrol. Um, and then we're moving some of these cars slowly but steadily. As far as I'm aware, no new information on the signboard there. So, yeah, no, no new information on that behalf. So, essentially, we're just trying to clear this area up now and then we can work on figuring out what happened. You're in charge of DOT operation. Uh, I'm not in charge, but I'm one of the higher uh, ranking. I'm higher ranking here, but yeah, how can I help? How can I help? Up in the van. All right, I think that bring me down to see the sign. My goodness, it's been a chaotic morning. We've got the police involved. We've got uh, senior DOT technicians. Uh, okay, apparently we're going to go and take a look at something. Let's see. Let's see the connection to the sign. I don't believe it's currently on, so... Let's see. Let's see where this leads. Let's just come closer. Take a bit of a look there. You see three serial numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's multiple serial numbers there. What are those? Representing devices? Or, uh, let's see. These are series of people logged in. Okay, so they're, yeah, they're, those serial numbers represent the devices of people who have logged in. Okay, DOT1, DOT3, yeah, yeah. There's APPL1. Right, so you think that's someone who supposedly hacked the network and, well, logged in remotely. Okay. Okay. We've never really, well, at least from the time I've worked, we've never really had a hacking that I've known of. Um, but I, I guess it's always time for first. Police are already investigating. Okay. Okay. A deputy said they, uh, they had something to do with a robbery. I believe that was in Springfield, maybe? Uh, could that be related? I don't know why they'd want a collision on the highway, maybe to spread out the resources, but... Actually, no, because that would be bringing all the resources to one place. I don't know. I don't know. What they've done is they've hacked the sign so every cop goes here. They have a free game of robbing. That's a, it's a strange uh, way to distract law enforcement, but it is possible. It's truly possible. Okay, scene has been cleared up quite a lot here, which is really good. A lot of the vehicles have been towed, so... I think we're we're gonna be closing this up and heading back soon there. Thanks for showing me that. Uh, I'm gonna go and move my vehicle out of the way here and uh, yeah, let, let us know if you find any more information about this. It could be related to the robbery. It would be a pretty good uh, distraction to be fair, but I don't know if that would have been uh, realistic. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much everyone for watching this video, I really hope you did enjoy, if you did make sure to go and consider subscribing to help out the channel a lot, massive thanks for having taken part in today's video, if you'd like to be in future videos, go and join my Discord servers, the links are in the description below, anyways have a great day and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.